Hello, welcome to Creta Classes. I am Gurmeet Singh and also welcome to our new series on Class 10th Chapter 9, Some Applications of the Trigonometry. And in this series, we will cover all these lectures using the power of visualization. Hope you will love our new way of teaching and the creative way of teaching. And apart from this lecture series, we also have a quiz and the PDF of the concept and formula list. Check the link in the description. And specially in this lecture, we will cover the NCRT example question, question number one to question number four. And do not underestimate NCRT example questions. They are well written and beautifully designed. So do not underestimate the NCRT questions. They are really, really important. Okay. So without taking any further time, let's start with this lecture. Best of luck and here is the lecture. Let's take the question number one, the example number one. A tower stands vertically on a ground. From a point on the ground, which is 15 meter away from the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. So this is a question. We will go step by step. In the previous lecture, we have seen these steps that we will follow. No need to remember these steps. As we practice more and more questions, you will understand why these steps are in this order. The first step, we will make a right angle triangle out of the given scenario. For that, we have to observe the question. So let's observe the question. In the question, a tower is given. This is a tower which is vertical on the ground. Further, a point is given on the ground which is 15 meter away from the tower. So this is the point and the distance between the tower and the point is 15 meter. And the angle of elevation from this point to the top of the tower is given as 60 degree. In the previous lecture, we have covered the angle of elevation. So here, this is the angle of elevation, which is given as 60 degree. Got it? And we have to find the height of the tower. So this is the scenario which is given in the question. So let's make a right angle triangle out of the given scenario. So this is the right angle triangle. Let's give the name to this triangle as ABC. Here AB, that is the side of this right angle triangle, is the height of the tower. That is missing and that we have to find in this question. And the angle C is given as 60 degree. Angle B is the 90 degree angle. The BC, the side BC is given as 15 meter. So let's take the triangle out of the figure. The next step is the identification of the trigonometric angle. So angle C that is 60 degree is the trigonometric angle for our case. Next step, we will find the trigonometric sides. The three trigonometric sides, perpendicular, base and hypotenuse. Perpendicular is the side which is opposite to trigonometric angle. So here AB is the perpendicular which is opposite to angle C. And hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to 90 degree angle. Angle B is 90 degree. So AC will be the hypotenuse in this case. And the third remaining side BC is the base for this triangle. Here we have to find the perpendicular. That is we have to find AB. BC is given. That is base is given. And angle C or angle theta is given as 60 degree. So base is given, angle theta is given, we have to find the perpendicular. Which trigonometric ratio will be applicable? Or we can say which trigonometric ratio is the linking between the perpendicular and the base? It is tan theta. Tan theta is the perpendicular over base. Perpendicular is missing, base is given and theta is given. So let's put the value. We got 1060 degree is equal to AB upon 15. Okay. What is the value of 1060 degree? For that, let's check the trigonometric ratio table. 1060 degree is equal to root 3. This trigonometric ratio table we have covered in very detail in the previous lectures. Check out the link in the description. The remembering of the trigonometric ratio table is very, very easy. So 1060 degree is equal to root 3. On solving, we got AB is equal to 15 root 3. That is the answer. The height of the tower we got as 15 root 3 meter. Got it? How we have solved this question? Firstly, we have visualized this question. If you are able to visualize the question, you are able to find a right angle triangle out of the given scenario. 90% work is done. Rest is simply applying the basic trigonometric ratio formulas. The basic trigonometry. The 90% work is just identifying the right angle triangle or visualizing the actual scenario in the given question. This is very important. Okay. As we take down more and more questions, you will understand it more. So we have done with example number one. Let's move to example number two. 
An electrician has to repair an electric fault on a pole of height 5 meter. She needs to reach a point 1.3 meter below the top of the pole to undertake the repair work. What should be the length of the ladder that she should use which, when inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the horizontal, would enable her to reach the required position? Also, how far from the foot of the pole should she place the foot of the ladder? You may take root 3 as 1.73. So this is the question. Our first step, we will visualize the question and we will try to identify or locate a right angle triangle in the given scenario. In this question, an electrical pole is given, a faulty electrical pole. The height of this pole is given as 5 meter. And also, a electrician is given and she has to climb on this ladder to repair this faulty pole. The four points are given, A, B, C and D. AD is the height of the pole, BC is the length of the ladder, and the ladder is inclined at angle of 60 degree. The condition of laying the ladder is also given. The ladder should be laid such that it reach a point which is 1.3 meter below the top of the pole, which is the point B. The point B is 1.3 meter from the top of the pole. It means AB is 1.3 meter. AD the height of the pole is given as 5 meter so we can calculate BD as 5 minus 1.3 that is 3.7 meter. Got it? Further in this question we have to find the length of the ladder that is the distance BC and also the distance of the foot of the ladder from the foot of the pole that is the distance CD. So this is a scenario given in the question. Are you able to identify a right angle triangle in the given figure? Yes, the triangle BDC is a right angle triangle formed by the electrical pole, ladder and the ground. And the trigonometric angle for this right angle triangle is given as 60 degree. And here we have to find the side BC and the side CD. And one side BD is given as 3.7 meter. Got it? We can take this triangle out of the figure for easy identification and further applying the trigonometric formulas. Once we got one angle and any of the one side, we can easily find all the remaining sides using the trigonometric ratio formulas. So let's move further. Here angle C is the trigonometric angle. Further let's find the trigonometric sides. Firstly the perpendicular. Perpendicular is the side which is opposite to our trigonometric angle. Here angle C is the trigonometric angle and side BD is opposite to our angle C. So BD is the perpendicular. Got it? Next hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to 90 degree angle. Angle D is 90 degree. So the side BC will be the hypotenuse for this triangle. And the third remaining side DC is the base for this triangle. Got it? We have identified all the three trigonometric sides. Next step, we will apply the trigonometric ratio. Firstly, let's find BC that is the hypotenuse for this triangle. Here BD is given that is perpendicular is given. What is the relation between the perpendicular and the hypotenuse? It is sin theta. Sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Let's put the value theta is 60 degree, BD is 3.7 meter and BC is the missing side. We need the value of sin 60 degree to proceed further. Let's use the trigonometric ratio table. Sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2. Let's put the value. On solving, we got BC as 3.7 into 2 upon root 3. In the question, it is given as root 3 is equal to 1.73. Let's put the value. On solving, we got BC as 4.28 meter. And BC is the length of the ladder. So we got one part of the question that is the length of the ladder is 4.28 meter. Got it? The next step we have to find CD that is the distance of the base of the ladder from the base of the pole. Here we have to find the base of the triangle. BD perpendicular is given as 3.7 meter. What is the relation between the perpendicular and the base? It is tan theta. Tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base which is BD upon CD. So we got 1060 degree is equal to BD upon CD. Let's find the value of 1060 degree. Let's use the trigonometric ratio table. 1060 degree is root 3. Let's put the value BD as 3.7. On solving we got CD as 3.7 upon root 3. 
let's put root 3 as 1.73 on solving we got cd as 2.14 meter so we got the base of this triangle and the second part of the question that is the electrician should place the foot of the ladder at a distance of 2.14 meter from the pole that is the answer of this question got it interesting the common mistake that is done by the student is that they take the point a and b as the same point they place the ladder from the top of the pole this is a mistake you have to carefully observe the question what is exactly given in the question take your time and observe the question if you are not able to clearly observe the given scenario in the question the rest of your answer will be wrong okay the first step that is visualization of the question is very very must so we have done with example number 2 let's move to example number 3 an observer 1.5 meter tall is 28 meter away from the chimney the angle of elevation of the top of the chimney from her eyes is 45 degree what is the height of the chimney so this is a question firstly we will observe the question a chimney is given and an observer is given the observer is standing at a distance of 28.5 meter from the chimney and height of the observer is given as 1.5 meter this is important and this will be used further the observer is seeing at the top of the chimney and the angle of elevation that is formed by seeing the top of the chimney is 45 degree so this is a line of sight that is the imaginary line of the vision and this is the angle of elevation which is 45 degree got it and in this question we have to find the height of the chimney so this is a scenario which is given in the question are you able to observe this right angle triangle in the given scenario this right angle triangle we will solve using the help of the trigonometry firstly let's give the name to the various points as a b c d and e here a e d is the right angle triangle we will solve this triangle and we will find the distance ae further here this distance eb is the height of the observer here this distance is same so to find the complete height of the chimney we need ae and eb both the distance eb is given as the height of the observer which is 1.5 meter and with the help of the trigonometry we will solve this triangle and we will find the distance ae we will add both the distance and we will get the complete length of the chimney so this approach we will use so let's take this triangle out of the given figure here angle d is 45 degree which is a trigonometric angle so what is perpendicular perpendicular is the side which is opposite to trigonometric angle so here ae will be the perpendicular and ad will be the hypotenuse as it is opposite to 90 degree angle which is angle e and the last remaining side de is the base of the triangle which is given as 28.5 meter the distance between the observer and the chimney is given as 28.5 meter in the question let's find the perpendicular for this triangle that is the distance ae we know the base of the triangle we need to find the perpendicular what relation we will use we will use the tan theta which is perpendicular upon base so tan 45 degree will be equal to ae upon de de is given as 28.5 meter and what is tan 45 degree let's use the trigonometric ratio table tan 45 degree is equal to 1 let's find ae which is equal to 28.5 meter the base is also 28.5 meter and the perpendicular is also 28.5 meter This is the beauty of 45 degree angle. Whenever you got the angle as 45 degree, tan 45 will be applicable, which is equal to one. So perpendicular and base for the triangle will be equal to each other. This is the point that you should note it down. Further, we have to find the total height of the chimney, that is AB, which is equal to AE plus EB. AE we have just calculated as 28.5 meter. EB is given as the height of the observer, which is 1.5 meter. so we got the complete length of the chimney as 30 meter that is the answer of this question got it one point that you should note is that the general mistake done by the students they solve the triangle and they got the perpendicular as 28.5 meter in hurry they do the mistake and put the height of the chimney as equal to 28.5 meter they miss the last step to add the height of the observer that is add ae plus eb to get the complete length of the chimney don't do such type of silly mistake observe the given scenario in the question in very detail and mark the distance that you have to calculate 
generally the height and distance questions are solved in two step firstly the application of trigonometry and finding the respective trigonometric sides that is missing and the second step is adding that distance or the side of the triangle with the second variable here the second variable is the height of the observer we have added perpendicular with the height of the observer to get the complete height of the chimney so this you should note and observe in the question so we are done with the question number 3 let's move to question number 4 example number 4 from a point p on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of a 10 meter tall building is 30 degree a flag is hoisted at the top of the building and the angle of elevation of the top of the flag staff from p is 45 degree find the length of the flag staff and the distance of the building from the point p so this is the question let's observe the question in this question a building is given and on the top of the building a flag is given and also a point p is given on the ground from this point p the angle of elevation of top of the building and top of the flag staff is given flag staff is basically the complete flag the angle of elevation of top of building is given as 30 degree and the angle of elevation of top of the flag is given as 45 degree so these two angles are 30 degree and 45 degree respectively the concept of angle of elevation when we are looking upward okay further the height of the building is also given as 10 meter and in this question we have to find the height of the flag staff that is height of the total flag the length of the complete pole of the flag so this is a scenario that we got out of the question let's mark the different point as a b and d further are you able to observe the two different triangles in this scenario the first triangle is pab this triangle with the angle as 30 degree and the second triangle is pad this big triangle whose angle is 45 degree let's take these two triangles out of the figure just for the comparison purpose here pa is common in both the triangle okay we got one side as common in both the triangle so we can solve both of these triangles separately and we are having ap as common which will help us in equating the output of both the triangles you will understand it more as we take down the solution further in this question we have to calculate the length of the flag staff that is we have to calculate bd this distance the strategy that we will use is from the first triangle the big triangle we will calculate the distance ad and from the second the smaller triangle we will calculate the distance ab and ad minus ab we will get the distance bd that is the answer the height of the flag staff so this approach we will use so let's take the smaller triangle the triangle with angle as 30 degree let's solve this firstly let's identify the various trigonometric sides perpendicular is ab and base is ap and hypotenuse is pb i am not again repeating the same concept why it is perpendicular why it is base why it is hypotenuse we have already covered the same in the previous lectures and also in the previous question you can check the description for the link to the lecture and also refer the previous questions for the same fundamental okay here ab is the perpendicular ap is the base and pb is the hypotenuse and ab the height of the building is given as 10 meter so can we find the base of this triangle which is common in both the triangles base and perpendicular both are linked through the tan theta tan theta is perpendicular upon base so tan 30 degree will be equal to ab upon ap let's find the value of tan 30 degree through the trigonometric ratio table tan 30 degree is 1 upon root 3 let's put ab as 10 meter let's solve we got ap as tan root 3 let's replace root 3 with 1.732 we got ap as 17.32 meter that is the base of the triangle base of both the triangles got it now let's take the big triangle which will help us in finding the length of the flag staff here for this triangle ad is the perpendicular and ap is the base and base in both the triangles are common so let's put ap or the base as 17.32 meter the same base of the previous triangle again here the perpendicular and base are coming into the picture so tan theta will be applicable that is perpendicular upon base which is tan 45 degree is equal to ad upon ap 
let's refer the trigonometric ratio table for the value of 10 45 degree which is 1 and let's put ap as 17.32 we got ad as 17.32 meter whenever we are having the angle as 45 degree 10 theta will be applicable perpendicular upon base and 10 45 degree is equal to 1 so perpendicular and base will be equal to each other in the case when angle is 45 degree got it so here angle is 45 degree so perpendicular and base will be equal to each other so we got the perpendicular or the ad as 17.32 meter got it here in the question we have to calculate the distance bd that is the height of the flagstaff and we know bd is equal to ad minus ab and we have just calculated ad as 17.32 meter ab is the height of building which is given as 10 meter let's put the value we got BD as 7.32 meter. That is the length of the flagstaff is 7.32 meter. That is the answer of this question. Got it? This type of question you may see in the real exam where we are having two triangles. Here these two triangles are sharing the common base. So you have to keep this in mind. You can equate the output, the trigonometric output of both the triangle as one side is common. Similarly, if you are having a case in which the perpendicular is common, there also you can use a similar philosophy but with the perpendicular as common. As we take down the different question, you will understand it more. Got it? So students, we have done with this lecture. Hope you have enjoyed our new and creative way of teaching. If so, like the hit button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also share this video with your friend. And do not forget to download the PDF of the concept and the formula list. And also check the link to the cues in the description. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for being with Creator Classes. Bye for now. Best of luck and have a great day.